Today we're testing Hank's abilities as a trail dog following me on my mountain bike. We're also celebrating our 11 year wedding anniversary. We're doing a little work in the backyard this morning. We just put up this little barrier here and one on the other side. We didn't quite make it all the way around. And Tim occupied himself playing in the mud. Like every three year old should, huh Tim? What'd you make? Is that a pond with like a river flowing to it? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Hank? Is he okay at digging holes? You're the true champ. I know that, Hank, but Tim's pretty good, right? Boy, we got a, a pretty good river network here, don't we? Well, all right. After you play in the mud, you got to come get sprayed down. That's how it works. You got to get cleaned up by mom. Get your shoe off. They're all cleaned up and ready for another round. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing later today? Going to the creek. Yep, I'm going to go ride my bike with Hank. We'll see if Hank can survive. And these guys are going to go play in the creek. So they'll probably get messy all over again. <laughs> messy! <laughs> Isn't that what being a kid's all about? My cute little family. Come here, Hank. Do you see another dog? Hank did great on the bike ride. I was up on this bridge right here and I saw them down here playing in the sand. And I thought, oh, my cute little family. 11 years strong. Mm -hmm. Hank, how you doing? Are you all wore out? Sit. Sit down. Can you sit? Oh, I don't want to sit in the sand. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. You did excellent on the ride. I was really impressed with you. I think it's mostly because I'm a slow rider. So these guys drove over here and they met me. Hank! Yeah, good listening. Good listening. Hey, come on. Over here. Come on. Hey, hey. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Claire, tell me about your creation here. It's a castle. All right. What are you working on, Tim? I'm working on a castle. We got castles all around. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got. Do it. Dump it. It'll be a good looking structure. Hey. Hey. You guys know something? What? Me, Zach, and this girl right here, Marilyn, today, April 10th, have been married for 11 years. Woo one one, the double one. <laughs> 11 years 11 years today so uh you know we are having a little day i went on a mountain bike ride uh we are doing some things we got to be careful though because we're still social distancing so what we've done here we're halfway up the mountain right now we have never come in closer than six feet of anybody so we're being careful yes. uh but yeah we just ordered some takeout at uh, a local steakhouse that's a little bit up the mountain yeah uh, we can't we can't go in, can't sit down and get the you know full experience, but at least we can 
enjoy a little little steakhouse food. Yep. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. To you. Thanks. To me. To, to you. Me. A very merry anniversary. To happy me. Happy anniversary. <laughs> What's hey. that one? My bike's back there. And Hank. And Hank. Poor Hank. He doesn't have enough room back there because of the bike. <laughs> Poking her head out. Tim, stop messing with the wipes. Like a dog, his tongue's hanging out of his head. Don't worry, guys. He had plenty to drink. I did a little experiment. You probably have seen the footage by now. I had Hank mountain bike with me. Yeah, you did. And Marilyn was very concerned. Not, not for me. <laughs> she was, and you know what? I was concerned too. I didn't. I didn't know if Hank was going to be able to do it. You gave me such a hard time. I didn't know if Hank, Hank was going to be able to do it, and he did great. Ooh. And most of that is because he I, is seven. I'm not a very good mountain biker. The average lifespan of a Great Dane is eight. You guys. He's, he's actually about to he's turn an eight. He's old man. He turns eight in like two months. So you still think that he's like a spry one-year-old, and he's like 56. Yep, maybe older. Anyways, Let's eat some uh, steak. I fell off a couple of times. <laughs> Um, and I, if I had been a faster mountain biker, Hank would have probably struggled a little more. But because I am not You're good, a and I, I ride really slow, he kept up. He was good. So yeah, I'm with you. Let's eat some steak. I'm home. I'm done biking. I showered. Feel like a new man. <laughs> Although I'm a little, I'm a little busted and bruised. If I show you guys my knee. Anyways, I wanted to show you. This is my seat. This is where I sit right here. Um, I see this. This is a squeeze ball. <sighs> I used to donate plasma and you squeeze it so the blood comes out faster. But I stuck it in there because I was getting a little bit of play on my camera. And I wanted a way to film my back tire so I could see Hank running behind me. And uh, this is actually a wrist mount for a GoPro. And I kind of like wrapped it around my seat very cleverly, I might add. So cleverly, I can't get it off. <laughs> There's my seat. I, I went through these little guys right here. Anyway, yeah, it's a little wrist mount. I bet there's a back of the seat mount for a GoPro, but I don't have one. So yeah. Pretty cool, huh? So the question is, can Great Danes be a good mountain bike buddy? The answer is conditional. I'm new to mountain biking, and I don't go that fast. Matter of fact, if I see a real steep hill, I'm pumping those brakes. <laughs> um, and that works well for him. Also, that trail we did was like a mile, a mile and a half. Not very long. Uh, if you go on a really long trail, you know, they're bones. They're big dogs, man. They can't take it. Uh, so I wouldn't go a very long distance. Um, and I would make sure your Great Dane's in pretty good shape. And I would go pretty slow. Uh, so those three, three things have to be in place. Also, you want to have a well-trained dog that kind of is good at following you. One thing that I think was good was that the trail was really well-defined. It was a nice single track. Um, on whenever the roads got wider, you could see Hank kind of has a tendency to wander off a little bit more. So does good on the single track, but to answer the question, I, I would say generally speaking, no, a Great Dane is not a great trail dog. And I'm kind of interested in getting a higher energy, more fit dog like a, like a Collie or like a Labrador that can go on longer rides with me. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we get another dog. Hank's getting old. He can't. He can't do those long rides. No way. I, I was really, really impl impressed that he did the ride that he did today. So, uh, yeah, more mountain biking, more dogs coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.